probably gonna cause it to explode. Maintaining proper pressure in your home is absolutely critical. Every time you change a water heater, you wanna change a regulator. It's kind of like a plumbing shock absorber. I'm Brandon Burrill, the owner and operator of Quick Water Heater Company. In this video, I'm gonna explain the purpose of a pressure regulator. First of all, let's use an example of tire pressure in your car. It's say 40 PSI is recommended to go into the tire. If you crank it up to 100 PSI and then start driving around, you're probably gonna cause it to explode. Not only that, you're probably gonna wear a groove straight down the middle of the tire. Plumbing water pressure is very similar to tire pressure. You want your pressure in your home to be 60 PSI. That's enough to go up two stories, but not too much to cause problems in your system. So what happens if, you're, if your pressure is too high in your house, it's putting extra pressure on all the fittings in your house. So like your ice maker lines, if you have a water softener, anything that's connected to the plumbing system, because it's all linked together, is going to be under more pressure than necessary which causes leaks. Nobody wants a leak, obviously. So maintaining proper pressure in your home is absolutely critical. Every time you change a water heater, I recommend changing your regulator. Now here's the thing. They don't let you know if they're broken. They don't make any noise. If they're broken, they look like they're working. There's nothing you can really do except for take a water pressure gauge and you can hook it up to a hose bib or a water heater and you can get a reading. The issue with that is that Pressure from the city is never constant. It goes up during the night, down during the day. If no one's using water, the pressure goes up. If everyone's using water, the pressure goes down. So even if you do take a reading on your pressure regulator, it's really hard to say whether that reading is gonna actually be the same in the middle of the night. So every time you change your water heater, you wanna change your regulator. This also works together with the expansion tank. So what this does is say the pressure from the city, which would be right here before the pressure regulator is 130 PSI. Well, with the use of a regulator, this will drop it down to 60. But here's one thing. When this heats up and cools down, it's a 40 gallon tank. Say you take a shower, two showers, the temperature in the water heater drops. When the temperature rises, it creates extra volume of water. That has nowhere to go. So what happens is we use a, an expansion tank basically to absorb that pressure. It's kind of like a plumbing shock absorber. So when the pressure is really high from the water heater, it goes up in there instead of increasing pressure. Remember, increasing pressure causes leaks. Don't want to leak. So whenever you're changing water heater, you always want to get a new pressure regulator. Again, it's hard to say whether they're working and they're relatively cheap compared to what a flood costs you. And then also you want to pair it with an expansion tank. So if this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down, tell us what you think in the comments, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.